Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Inscription Casey's Mod. We're on challenge level 4. Got a new starter deck. It's the Ant Starter Deck. That one is going to probably be the hardest one to date. And we have to get 40 challenge points to move on. I am going to do this new one. All battles are totem battles for 20 challenge points. And then, you know what? I might as well have boss battles be totem battles as well just to complete it. And then for a little bit more, Trapper's Pelts cost more. Seems like the most manageable one, I think. This is certainly getting way harder. 40 challenge points. Everything is a freaking totem battle. So what is my deck? I have an Ant Queen, which is a 2 cost Ant Attack and 3 HP, where the attack is equivalent to the number of Ants on the board. And when a card bearing the sigil is played, an Ant is created in your hand. A Flying Ant with Ant Attack and Airborne. A Skunk with... Basically stinky, the creature opposing a card bearing just this sigil loses one power, and then two extra cards my choice. Hopefully, I get to start off with a free ant. That would be the perfect ad addition to my deck. Ah, oh, no ants. Okay. Between these, I'll take the mantis for sure. And the warren is like almost ants. I think I'd take it. If I play the warren, it basically is a two sacrifice creature, which lets me get out an early ant queen. But a disappointment, no starting ants, so I gotta look for more ants or insect synergy if I can help it. Getting a totem down really early might be nice. Plus it lets me know how I'm gonna build my deck, so honestly I should go for the super early totem, seeing that. Between these, I don't have any wolves, I don't have any birds, and this move plus swap is not that useful. But maybe a kin applies to something in my deck. So I will take that and hope that maybe something magical could happen. Well, I have a very weak starter deck, I think. Time for a fight up against a totem battle. Their wolves block flying attacks, and I do have a flying unit. But I also can get down an ant queen, which I think I should start with. Let's do that. Warren into rabbit into ant queen, which I'll just put in front of their wolf because it can take a hit from their wolf cub and live to tell the tale and then soon i'll be able to get a little bit of ant action going on i'm gonna go with an ant right here believe it or not it seems weird but i might as well get the most amount of damage right now and just race him instead of worrying about killing the alpha i could just worry about killing him so this is the one nice thing about ants if you get three ants down on the field they're pretty good attack that is a ton of overkill with nine damage in one turn that is very ideal. If four ants would be even more perfect, but can you guarantee something like that would happen? I don't know. No, I'd rather add a card to my deck. I did get a lot of overkill, but I'm looking for ants. A second mantis might just be nice though. Yeah, honestly, duplicate mantis seems awesome. If I get to leveled up, that's great. And we get some more wood carver action in the future so that hopefully that wolf can be pushed aside. Here, a Warren might be good. If I play that type of unit, I get a free rabbit in hand. Now it's time to find out if I have any kin in my deck. And if not, I could swap it out for another head at the future totem carver. So there's still lots of hope. All right, so his wolves hide during my turn. So I really have to try to just erase him. I'm almost tempted to just get down a skunk so that wolf cub perpetually has zero attack. You know what? I'm going to do it. Save myself a little bit of HP, and I can always sacrifice it later anyway. So now, I could go for a flying ant. And I will hide that safely behind the boulder. Get dealt one damage. Oh, that wolf is going to hurt a little, but not kill. I do live to tell the tale. Now it's time to start doing some real damage of my own. Let's begin with... Sacrificing the skunk for the ant queen. Let me get the ant queen down right here, I believe. That's two damage. I'm one off lethal. I could just tip the scales with this, but I don't think it'll be necessary. I'm about to heal four. I'm going to get four dealt back at me, and then I can get the killing blow in a couple turns. I think this is going to work out if I just let it ride. I can be greedy here. Yeah, get dealt four. This doesn't kill me. And actually, yeah, I'm going to win this turn. 
It's perfect. My first two units will deliver the killing blow. Haha, <laughs> the wolf's hiding actually worked against him. Just too fast to kill. I could have... Oh, why didn't I put the worker in front of his wolf? Well, wasted a little bit of damage. That's going to count for a misplay at the end of the game. But honestly, I doubt it'll change much. I'm actually not sure what this is. It's the mirror. I learned that. I'm looking for an ant, though. Show me an ant. Cat. Oh, cat. Oh, but a flying ant. Oh, I was going to say I don't have many cats. So this is like the first time... I could have used the cat in a while, but listen, if it says ant, I take ant, the cat can wait. The cat would be really interesting, though, if I want to have, like, a really fast turn. Get a bunch of ants onto the field on the same turn. Regardless, if I can get the insect head, that'd be amazing. Unfortunately, no. I will take the flying body and still go with the, the um, rabbit hole buff. This game really wants me to take deers, and I just can't do that. Alright, so they were- Canines block my flying attacks, which I have some. Okay, wolf cub. I'm gonna go with a mantis right here. So I can kill that wolf cub off next turn. And then whether or not I have a flying attack will become irrelevant. Too bad my mantis is about to eat shit. And how much I can do about that? I'll just get down the flying ant right now. Uh, it's gonna be a tough one yeah that is gonna be a tough one i could probably use pliers in this fight let me see what happens when i get this though maybe i'll get a mantis no i think using a pliers is right here because otherwise i am about to take three and that just can't happen so i'll sneak out a win wherever i can maybe we're approaching a pack that would be nice but the fact that I have to use items this early is concerning. Okay, the pack is not available, but I do get another chance at the woodcarver. Maybe this time I'll get lucky. Magpie is an awfully good unit. I can hunt my deck for a specific creature. And that makes for a great sacrifice. So I ought to do that. Unless if there was something else I wanted to sacrifice, but I don't think there is. Yeah, magpie's got to be sacrificed. Put that on... Which one? Maybe Warren? Or I could look through the deck for an ant when I play an ant. Thing is with the Warren is that I might want to sacrifice the Warren itself eventually too. So I'll put the magpie on the flying ant to go for ant synergy. Because the ant queen is already self-synergizing, I don't really need to draw more ants if I play the Ant Queen. It's a little iffy, but... Alright, show me Insect Head. If I get Insect Head, I'm going nuts. <sighs> Didn't get it. Triple Blood's an awesome one, though. If I had any kin. It's... If I had a kin, it would be better with the Warren... Or the Rabbit Hole one, because I don't have many expensive units. I have one, but that does not justify the Triple Blood. And no, you cannot make multiple totems at the same time. You're only allowed one totem, so drafting ahead there would not be useful. Alright, Prospector fight with moving canines. That's a tough one. Yeah, yeah, gold, 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 I get it. But this is not too bad a start, at least. Could it get down an Ant Queen turn one? I might have to go for the Pack Mule, though, with the way things are going. Because I don't have a great second phase set up. Like, I don't have anything really explosive. If, if, to be honest, Ant Queen is actually my strongest engine. So it's here because it's going to kill the coyote after it moves. Now, maybe I'll start working on that pack meal. I think I need to get a little extra value. There should hopefully be some... Um, I can't think of what they're called. Squirrels in that pack meal. I think I'm just gonna draw a squirrel and pass. Take this slow, I have tempo. They're not gonna summon units fast enough to really worry me here. Okay, now I wanna get down the mantis and how it's gonna be done is right here and that way I get to kill the pack mule and do a little bit of extra damage up top. Show me squirrels, okay, I got squirrels. I got some good options actually. My mule curse you. Okay, Coyote kills that, but I get the Corpse Maggots in its place. 
Okay, so now I want to dig through my deck, I think. I got plenty of playable creatures. I'll let this ride because I'm about to tip the scales and have everything turn into gold. Unfortunately, I don't get to kill the coyote. Or I forget, does it disappear? No, it does not. Okay, so I get a full turn of just nothing. Not great. I don't have much as far as attack goes. I'm going to draw from my deck. Warren, I still don't have much as far as attack goes. Yeah, get him. Alright. Draw from my deck, I think. Flying Ant. Let me play like this. I'm gonna go Black Goat and get out the Tentacle Creature. It has a bell for attack, so yeah, it looks pretty solid. Then what I want to do is get down, believe it or not... A skunk right here. Keep that bullhound or bloodhound at bay while the bell creature just kind of keeps going at him. And then now I can get my ants onto the field. Let's see, what else is in my deck? Mantis. Yeah, let me get the ants down. Let me go sacrifice the skunk for the warren. And put down the what put down the rabbit. And summon both of my ants. And actually, I guess I should have uh, taken a squirrel, but I guess it doesn't really make a difference. I should be getting him now. Okay. Scary fight. My deck does not have anything explosive. It seems that if I don't pull ahead early or have some sort of infinite or like way to get free stuff, I am going to fall apart real easily. So hopefully this will help me out. Mantis God's good for explosivity. Ouroboros. Like, as it is right now, Ouroboros, I think, is too slow for my deck. My deck is already slow, and I'm not going to be able to build up Ouroboros to become a one-turn kill, realistically. So it's between Mantis God and Strange Larva. That's tough. I think, honestly, I want to be fast, and Mantis God is fast. Strange Larva is also too slow. I'd rather just get three damage out right from the get-go, and if I can buff it at a campfire, then it's just perfect. Ooh, okay, we're in the wetlands. Let's take a trial. Don't know what my deck excels at. Three sigils, maybe that. I don't have kin, despite my totem. I don't have much HP, but I do have a lot of sigils. In fact, it is impossible to lose the sigil one. So I'm happy to run that. Thank you. All right, show me an ant. A cuckoo that can be summoned for free. Free is good. An undying kingfisher, but the issue is it's never going to die in the first place. Oh, a great white that gets summoned for free. Yeah, that seems awesome. That is explosive. Something dies, I get a great white on the board. That's four damage. Let's go. And I am looking forward to a pack refresh. Scissors is by far the best thing you can get. Maybe except for the free time. I don't have anything that costs bones. Black goat is not useful for my deck. It's so niche, I think the pliers is more versatile. And okay, I see another pack refresh, so I'm gonna have to use those this stuff in this fight. I don't really want a pack rat. Can I win right now? Yes, I can. With the squirrel, I can win. So let's do it. I'm gonna go squirrel into flying ant, of which I will draw the mantis god. And then with both the Mantis and the Mantis God on the playing field, I do win. That's what I'm looking for. Thank you for playing. Come again another day. Alright, for sure a trial. I could do a ton of trials on this map. Show me another Sigils trial. I excel at those. Bones is unwinnable. Sigils is instant win. Thank you very much. Yep, you don't even need to, like, take your time. You can just instantly give me the win because it's that guaranteed. Ant Queen for free! Okay, this is perfect for my deck. This is absolutely perfect. An Ant Queen that comes out as soon as something dies. Okay, I'm feeling a lot more explosive now. Between these, I'll take a Squirrel. Let's go for the fight before I worry about what I'm going to do next. So there are insects jump in front of my units when they attack. All right, I will get down the Mantis. I could just let the Mantis die. How is the Mantis going to die? If the Mantis is on the edge, it dies. But you don't want to put the Mantis on the edge. Oh, here's what I do. 
I go squirrel into Warren on the edge. No, rabbit should have gone on the edge. Wait, no, I can sacrifice the Warren for the mantis, and because the bee flies... Oh, it's gonna jump in front of my mantis attack no matter where I put it. Well, the main thing is I get the rabbit down here so it dies and I get the great white for free. And my mantis doesn't die because his bee attacks over it. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming now, did ya? What am I looking at? Mantis God? Well, that's just the straight up upgrade. But I don't really need to do anything right now. I can just let it ride and win next turn. Do some ultra mega overkill. And it's in the bag. The deck is a ton more explosive now. I am excited for the future. It's still not that ant heavy, but there is like an ant core. After I got that second ant queen, there's a lot to load for sure. Do I could get two more trials. Oh, but hear me out. I could get a trapper, a trader, and a totem. I wish I could see how many bones. Oh, I can see how many bones I have. Thing is, the trapper's things are pelts are more expensive. I might not be able to afford a golden pelt. I think instead I'm just going to do the trial. This is just the floor of the trial. Just trial, trial, trial. Show me sigils. Sh show me sigils. Blood. Okay, this is tough actually. Blood, how do I feel? Two, one, 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 three, two. I mean, I have three units. If I hit any one of them, I win the trial of the blood. It's really hard to miss all three of these for three attempts. So I think I'm going to go blood and not risk the attack. Maybe just giving zeros. Yeah, okay. Oh, I, I hit all three of them. Wow. That is more unlikely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I could get an elk that summons an ant. I could get an ant that's stinky. Or I could get a goat, black goat that comes out for free. I think I'm going to take the ant. The elk is way too expensive. And I mean, I'm full going ants at this point. Ooh. Ooh. My call just up ahead. Between these, like I said, the worst one by far is the skunk. Don't need that in my deck. Get a free bone, which is useless for me right now, but hopefully they'll change. All right, let's see what's in the fight. Oh, and I get a totem thing if I go my call just up ahead. That's awesome. Insects have a tail that splits off from their body if I attack them directly. Okay, I can get out the great white pretty easily. I think here's how I go. I go squirrel into Warren. Sacrifice the Warren for the Mantis to be right here. Put the rabbit here so Great White can be summoned. And then things are going to be looking good. Okay, so Great White. The Skink is going to dodge. A little scary. Mantis God for a little improvement. This top turtle is going to be a little annoying. It's armored. I'll just let it ride. Yep. I guess I'm still going to get hit. So it's a little worrisome, but the Great White's going to offset everything. And then I'll get the... I'm going to get the Mantis God on the right side. I think, here's the thing. It's terrible on the left side. If it hits the Flying Ant, that blocks my Great White. And then there goes my advantage. But if I put it on the right side, it's going to die to the Skink. It's not all that bad. It's very okay. Yeah, close one, though. It's going to be tight. Maybe I should have used the pliers. Okay, Great White's about to do some nasty killing, at least. So I'm going to deal four this turn. I should off draw off my deck just so I know what I'm going to work with. Ant Queen. How scared am I of losing? Right, because I'm going to hit here. I'm going to kill the flying ant. It won't be able to dodge. I'm going to deal four, and then I'm going to get dealt two... Four, six, seven. Oh, that's terrible. That's losing. Man, this makes me uncomfortable to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut up the mud turtle. All right, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to kill the flying ant. Won't be able to hide. I deal four, and then I'm going get, to get dealt five back to me. Five is manageable, so I pass. And then next turn, I can do some squirrel action, and I'll be alive just barely. Okay, so now 
here's how I go about this. I go squirrel, squirrel, into ant queen. Put you right here. Now, the question is, am I sacrificing the mantis for something else? So, see, I'm going to hit him for one, two, four. I'm going to hit him for six. I'm going to hit him for six, and he's going to hit me for, at most, five. So, this is fine. And then I'm going to win this turn. With my worker ant. God, this is nerve-wracking making sure I don't accidentally die for some reason yes finally it only costs two items it could have cost just the pliers but my mistake now I could do trial mycologist totem or I could do card fire fire okay the fire might be pretty insane for my mantis stuff although mycologist is great for mantis so let's do that. Uh, power, bones, HP. Here's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the attack power to see if the ants attack counts as anything. If there's like multiple ants. No, it counts as zero. I was hoping they would count as two because there's two ants. Okay, so the only one I really stood a chance at was the uh, HP one. Mantis is great. Oh, whoa, whoa. There's a couple of good options here. I feel like it's got to be Mantis for a more explosive start. It's got to be. The other ones are great too. I do want more mycologists in the future. I think the next one I want to do is the Ant Queen. Because then it gets rid of the garbage two cost Ant Queen. All right, show me Insect though. Insect head would be perfect. Didn't get it. Got Reptiles though. So hold on. So I go for reptile head and I want the rabbit hole body because when I play one of these, then I can immediately summon another creature, which seems awesome. Just being able to build up more sacrifices would be awesome. I could get maybe some turn one kills this way. Should be helpful against the angler. Okay. Okay, so his birds make my units have one less attack, but I don't think that matters. I feel like the totems for the boss battles are rarely impactful. That should not be worth 15 challenge points. But hey, I guess I'm not complaining, am I? Okay, bad news is I have only one unit um, that can be played from hand for free. Or sorry, get played from hand without... You know what, never mind. One unit I'm realistically going to play this turn. Let's deal damage. I guess I get him in two turns. So it's all good. And this god is that strong. You won't be able to pull it in time. I'm going to look through here. Worker Ant is awesome to see. And here's how I'm going to play this, actually. I'm going to put Worker Ant here. Oh, that does attack for one less. It doesn't matter. I still tip the scales. Thing is with the the bait bucket it's like i almost kind of want to summon the bait and have my units die because i get a bunch of stuff for free let's see though maybe i could just get something better flying ant also mantis is not a reptile i've noticed yikes what even is mantis also an insect is this just the full insect deck and i have like just no synergy son of a bitch <laughs> actually i guess i can win right now can't i I go Flying Ant here into Mantis, and I just sack the Mantis God for Mantis, and that's five damage. So keep it simple. Win while I can. Alright, through two bosses. Okay, so I guess I would take a Reptile for my deck. If given the chance. Well, Gex is a, is a Reptile, isn't it? Gex is probably really good for my deck, though. Free Sacrifice gives me more reason to draw from my deck long elk is gonna be free a lot of the time though i don't think i care though i think gek works best with my deck pack racket isn't too bad because i'm out of items but i'm sure i'll come across a pack event in the future through the snow line this is the trappers area i'll take a trial again win or lose it's not too bad blood attack health 
blood should be the best. Oh, but I do have a Gek that kind of ruins things. But still, I do have some strong hits. I think that blood is my best shot. Just don't hit the Gek and hit the Great White. Yeah, perfect. Love to see it. So, Coyote might be right. Rattler might be better. I don't know if I'm ever getting six bones, though. I mean, maybe I could just sack the Rattler. It's a really good sigil. Wouldn't mind putting that on something better. Or I could get bones from here. I would take it if given the chance. Well, scissors is great. Scissors is so great. I might take two? I think it's so good that I take two. Alright, time for a fight. His birds deal one damage back to me when I attack them. Let's see. Not a bad start. Now let's plop down Mantis God. Why not? Uh, some scary stuff in the future. I could win pretty soon. I'm looking for Gek. Didn't get it. I think I'm going to cut up his turkey vulture. That's too nasty for me. The mole is going to block everything for now, but that's fine. I think I should just be taking uh, squirrels at this point. Do I cut up the raven egg is the question. I might... Well, I could win right now if I use both of my items. Do I think I can catch up if I don't use both right now? Yeah, this is a bad looking fight right now. I think I just need to use both items. I, I don't trust that I can actually get out of this otherwise. So, Ploppy down here, one attack. Put this on the board. And I guess if I'd cut up the mole last turn, I could have saved the pliers. I guess I need to be thinking ahead a little better. Well, a win is a win. <laughs> no matter how many items I use, maybe there'll be another pack event that I could just keep coasting by with that. Do I dare for another chance at the woodcarver? I have to be able to hit insect head soon. It has to happen. I don't even have that many bones, so the trapper's not even great for me. I've got to hit something with the, the woodcarver. One of these times, please. Okay, Kin is a no. Sigils is a win. I don't know. So I gotta get something good with Sigils. Oh, okay. I guess there was a way to lose. I forgot about the Gek. Beaver, Rat King, Cat. Cat could be really good for my deck. If I put down a Cat, then I can start doing sacrifices like crazy. And the Cat is forever safe. This is really good synergy, actually. Because if an egg is placed in front of the cat, the cat never dies. So that sounds really good for my deck. Alright, show me insect totem, please. Please. Didn't get it. I should take the head, so I may be more likely to get the proper head in the future. If there's even another chance... Man, this is brutal. All these totems have just been worthless. They could have been worth full events, but they're not. Alright, hopefully I can get through this fight. I see a mycologist in my future. Or another stab at the totem gauntlet. I mean, one of these times it has to hit, right? I can't miss t th so many times. Okay, I can stop the moose buck from spawning, so that seems well worth it. Let's just get you down and forever prevent the moose buck from spawning. And I'm not worried about anything right now. Guess both my units get summoned for free, but that's fine. I'm about to gain a bunch of damage with my Ant Queen. Here. And put you down here. And let's go. Hey, I get damaged block, but that's not too bad. I'll draw for my deck. Oh, another worker ant. Excellent. Okay, with the cat, my deck has become a ton better now. I'm even ahead. Ooh, I do lose that, but I get the great white. Nice. Nice, nice. I should clutch this out. Just barely. Okay, with the addition of the cat, this deck has another threat. Okay, so I could go mycologist. Mycologist to do what? Probably the Ant Queen. That way I could get rid of an additional two cost from my deck. And Ant Queen would have more HP, which it died last game. That would actually be helpful. Or I could hit another duplicate by chance through here. 
I could stake another stab at the totem. No, I can't pass up my colleges for this. Listen, I'm just going to fail the damn totem check anyway. Sigils is most likely a win. It is possible to fail, but unlikely. Yeah, now it's impossible to fail. Very good. If I got a duplicate, would I take it? Well, I didn't, so I guess that is out of the question. I don't know. I'd rather have Coyote. I think I can play a Coyote for free most of the time, so I'll take that. Plus, it's Kin. Maybe I could... Uh, I don't have a Kin totem, though. It's a freaking reptile head now. Of course it is. Uh, well, my college is time. Yes, I brought two of the same. Getting multiple venues, right? Flying Ant or Ant Queen? Yeah, it's gotta be. It's a six health Ant Queen that comes down for free. As long as something dies. This is well worth it. Alright, let's see how my new deck does. So as Elks make my units have one fewer attack. That's right, I still have the Rattler. Okay, the Rattler lets me do things somewhat. Flying Ant could come down right away. And then I can summon something better. What would I want? Like, I could just go Mantis right now for sick damage. Yeah, why not? Sick Mantis damage. And I'm one bone off of doing anything relevant here. But I think Mantis just outpaces my opponent. Yeah, okay. So that just wins regardless. <gasps> oh, but the... Oh, but the totem. Oh, that's nasty. Do I then draw from my deck? I think the answer is yes. Okay, this is going to be tough. Hopefully next turn I'll be able to get something good. Oh, but the elk does kill my mantis! Oh no. It's spicy. Can I deal three damage? See, the thing is, with the combined attack power of the coyote and the cat, yes, the answer is yes, but if I could get Rattler down, that'd be better. Issue is that I can't. Oh, and all of his units give me one less attack, so I can't even kill the elk fawn. Unless if I do it with a coyote. I think my only out is if I draw something godlike from my deck. I don't know what that godlike thing is, but it's something, surely. <gasps> oh! Wait. Is that what I needed? Let me go... Gek? Into... Oh my god. Into rabbit? Into coyote! Yes! <laughs> I drew the nuts! The one out! Oh my god, yes. Gek saving the day. Thank you very much. Alright, so... I'm gonna go for the double sacrifice. Try to thin out my deck a little bit. I think that Rattler needs to go. It's not gonna play often. Um... I'm gonna go one cost here. Black Goat's not half bad. Sometimes. Sometimes it is, though. Alright, let's see. Oh, but I can't sacrifice the Rattler. Shoot. I can sacrifice both the Warren and the Black Goat. Well, I'll do it one by one. I'll start with the Warren. Just put that on something I may want. Gek already has it, so I think putting it on it again will be worthless. I could put it on the Mantis God, so that way I can summon an extra thing per turn. Or I could put it on regular Mantis. Then I will get an additional thing in my hand. And then it'll deal 4 damage and then probably 1 more damage for 5 damage. So that seems like what will be worth it. And oh, I could go to Campfire to buff the Mantis God. I might like that more. Black Goat isn't going to do too much better on anything else. But if I can get Mantis God up to 2 attack, it actually doesn't change much for this fight. But it changes a lot for future battles? Wait. Wait, no. Okay, I got HP. I think that's still fine. Maybe Mantis God? So Mantis God doesn't get one shot? Freaking 1-3. I was hoping for attack for Mantis God. I think it, that would have been worth it. Ah, but this is alright. And I am going to pull away. A little bit additional HP I don't think is going to change too much. So against the Trapper. Uh, it's a phase 3 Trapper. I don't know. I have no items at my disposal. Is Lizard's deal one attack damage back? Oh no, okay, so this is a totem that's absolutely brutal. 
disgusting for me. I could have a pretty explosive start though. We're gonna go smoke into Mantis God, I think here. Then I can go Coyote right here. And then Gek here, killing off this strange frog. And I will sit on these. They'll make for great sacrifices later. It's actually not half bad though. Yeah, actually, this is a very good start. I have to draw from my deck for sure. Worker Ant? Well, let me see. With Worker Ant, I can get them right now. Hopefully this works out. I'm going to try to farm traps, or at least get a few more of them. And it also hunt for a better card in my deck. So this is not going to kill him. It merely hurts. But I start farming pelts right now. He has no real threats. Flying ant. Okay, I can look through my deck for something good. I will sacrifice the flying ant. And what do I want? I mean, great white's pretty good. Actually, great white will be great. <laughs> no pun intended. I mean, it's going to come down on the field for free. And then I'm going to go into the next phase with a great white out. So that sounds awesome. Hello? And hello. Uh, this is looking good, actually. Yeah, his elk isn't going to be fast enough. Great White's just going to do awesome damage. I will take a squirrel so I can summon the things I get for free. Okay. I, I feel favored. I think Great White is going to knock him out. If I could get a buffer or a side attacker, that'd be perfect. Pelts. Okay, side attacking Grizzly, but it's expensive. I've had a lot of stuff die, though, so Turkey Vulture might not be half bad. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this, get it out of the way. Grizzly isn't even going to attack my Great White head-on. But I should take it anyway, so it never shows up. Wait, can't I win by just getting rid of, say, the Bloodhound? And then just get rid of his other scary stuff, like this and that? And then I can summon a two cost and win. Or yeah, 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 yeah. I can summon a two cost and win. Because none of his stuff is going to block my stuff. Let me do the Bloodhound just in case for some reason the other one has zero attack. It probably wouldn't have, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Whew. Crisis averted. On to the moon. This is the toughest first three bosses I've had to face yet, so... It is awesome to make it past. Maybe another Gek would be perfect. Nope, that's too expensive. Long Elk, maybe. Long Elk, I think, can be summoned sometimes. Four Bones is not too bad. The other ones are very unlikely to be summoned. I mean, I do have a Black Goat, but I don't think that justifies it. All right. Do I take one final stab at the Totem Carver? If I get an Insect Head, my deck is insane. Otherwise, I would probably do this. Oh, the pack would be really nutty. You know what just occurred to me? My deck is very weak against the moon. That's bad. <laughs> I feel as though I have to take the pack. Even if I hit what I was looking for on the totem, I don't quite think it's going to actually help me against the moon. So I have to take pack things. Uh, scissors is incredible. Bones are good. I need versatility here. Oh, yes. Turn to this and I'll skip my next turn. This is what I was looking for. The ability to skip a turn might save me against the moon. Holy crap, my deck is terrible against the moon. I have nothing but like one HP creatures and just like some quick damage. So the hourglass is how I'm going to have to get out of this. Okay, as insects do what? I'm not... Well, let's see. They evolve after a turn. If I can get through his first phase, I don't think that'll change much. Okay, good. This is good. This is good. I can get through his first phase quite easily. I have to cut up the mole man. First and foremost. So goodbye. And now I can get him right away. So let's go smoke into Mantis. 
into Mantis God or Long Elk. It might be best to do Long Elk here and then just accept the five damage and then I'll have more flexibility with Mantis God. Or maybe, no, maybe Long Elk was what I, what I need to be flexible with. I mean, it is an insta-kill, but it is perfect. We can insta-kill the stump. That's what I was looking forward to. All right, let's go to the deck. Coyote's not half bad. Here, though, I do need an insta-kill, so thankfully Mantis God will help me out, and then we'll make it to the moon phase pretty quickly, actually. Okay, there's a chance now. My stuff survives against the moon for a little bit. Oh, this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be down to the wire. Now, I will have to use Coyote on Mantis God and then skip a turn to get additional Mantis God powers. Yes, so much value. Draw from my deck. And then here's how it's gonna go. We go, I don't have enough bones. Wait, is this bones? This is bones, right? Okay, here's how I do this then. I go Coyote here, and Coyote would die, but first I will take multiple turns. So now Mantis God will get six damage for two turns in a row, which is huge. This is a really good start, I think. And then look through my deck. Ant Queen is awesome to see. I'll get that for free. And I get a huge lead on the move. Oh, it's gonna have to play some major catch up right now. Ant Queen for free, more value in my hand. Again, I'm just going to look through this. Cat, well, might help. I think I'm just going to start wrecking shot, though. I do major damage here. And the moon's almost done for. It can kill my units, but it can't kill my soul. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what? I'm going to take the squirrels. We're going to kill them with ants. We're going to completely wipe them out with the power of ants. Look at that. Ants strong together. And the ant queen is going to deal the killing blow. Oh, I was so nervous about that fight. All right, well, that, that was the hardest the moon has ever made for me. So if I build my normal style of decks, which is built for consistency in the early game, moon fight is hard. Oh, that is a well-earned win. Let's go. What is the entry today? I scoured the disc last night looking for some sort of explanation, and I found some really wild stuff. It made me think. What is the old data, and why does Leshy only talk about it when he's wearing the woodcarver's mask? I found some log from Mr. Kaminsky. It was pretty clear when I met him that the guy had issues, but he seemed to be saying in this log that the entire development of inscription was a cover. For what? How infuriating if true. Time to start another run, I guess. Kaminsky was a real person before he was in the game! No way. All right, a new card, a dire wolf. The dire wolf will strike the opposing space an extra time when attacking. Cool. And a dire wolf pup. At the end of the owner's turn, the dire wolf will, pup will generate one bone, and it will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on, on the board. Oh, there's some really cool cards. A challenge unlock. No boss rares. Boss awards regular cards instead of rares. Cool. All right, well, that is it for Casey's Mod. I'll see you guys all in the next episode with Challenge Level 5. Have a wonderful day and peace.